This video introduces the River Bathymetry Toolkit Bankful tool. Uh, the goal of this tool is to explore different areas of the channel that are wet at different stages of the river. Um, what I've gone ahead and done is opened ArcMap, loaded a detrended DM. It's very important that it's a detrended DM, not a raw DM. And I can load the Bankful tool from the Bankful and Centerline menu on the RBT toolbar. And as it opens, this is one of those dockable windows, so you can pull it off and float it around if you want, or you can redock it by just hovering over these blue arrows here in ArcMap. When the panel first opens, it looks through your table of contents in your map and finds any uh, rasters and loads them into this drop down. I just have the one. Um, if the toolbar is having trouble finding your rasters, make sure that they're at the top level of your uh, table of contents. They're not in any group players or anything like that. And again, make sure you do use a detrended DEM, not a raw uh, DEM, because we're going to raise and lower the water level. And in a raw DEM, that water is just going to flow out of the channel. Um, down here we have a graph that represents um, a histogram of elevations in the uh, DM. So you notice that around 100 we have a large spike of uh, elevations and if you remember from the detrending that that's the nominal uh, datum that we uh, produce the detrending at. We also have a controller, a little slider here on the side of the graph and this is what we can use to raise and lower the water level. So right now our histogram is showing the frequency of elevations of different elevations. So as I bring the slider down, the RBT is going to change the water level to the corresponding value on the y-axis of the graph and raise or lower the water level. So here I'll go ahead and zoom into an area so we can actually see a little better what's going on here. And so as I pass through 100, which is our kind of nominal bankful elevation, you'll see that I'm starting to flood more and more of the off-channel areas. So you see areas like this where there are kind of discarded channels which at low flows wouldn't be connected and this tool's allowing us to explore uh, what happens at high flows where they, where they are connected. We can look at the graph in two ways. I'm looking at it in the pure histogram way. There's also a volume to area version of the graph. This is really useful for finding that bankful elevation again. So what I'll, I'll do is I'll zoom in here on one area and you'll notice that you get these humps and what these represent is different um, phenomena on the on the channel so um, we're looking at volume to area so as the graph moves towards the top right here volume is increasing rapidly but faster than area so in this little divot here this is a very interesting area because um, up until this point volume has been increasing, area has not been increasing that much. We're on top of the bank full right here so as we increase the elevation we're going across the top of the banks and we're um, flooding a greater area but not a greater volume. And then once we're through this divot uh, we start flooding out into the floodplain. So you'll see that this just explodes and just wets the whole channel here. So this version of the graph is really helpful for looking at different uh, phenomena. The controls down the bottom here just allow you to control the graph manually so I can move the slider using uh, small increments using the current uh, spin control or I can change the extent of my graph um, using the min and max. I can also right click on the graph to get a series of options. I can um, produce a, a image file or print the graph. I can also unzoom back to the original, original extent. Uh, I can also save out the graph from this button here. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to uh, an elevation that I know to be roughly um, around Bankful and I'm going to use this export button which allows me to actually save out um, that uh, flooded area as a polygon. And so what it's going to do here is actually, um, I'm just going to make this a slightly stronger color. So what it's done is it's it's converted the flooded areas into a vector and thrown away any of the small areas. It's just kept the largest area. So if I was to lower my um, my elevation down until I get discrete areas of the channel, that export is not going to work as well because it's going to only going to find the largest area and export that. But but as it is, um, I've got at the elevation I did. I have a rather nice polygon here and I can raise the water level several more increments and produce polygons at different stages. 
Okay, that is the River Bathymetry Toolkit Bankful Tool.